Do do do. Hello, Pablo. Okay, so colors are going to be interesting. to go on our legs. Yeah, should be fine. You know, let's change it in the future. Uh, this is just a side thing. Um, figured I would do this now and then probably work on something else if I have time. Gonna be a short two hour stream today. Uh, here's the thing though, this is not jam. So let that enter your headspace for a moment. Okay. And the fun part is figuring out what colors I need. Actually, okay, yeah, yeah. So let's change this. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Glove on.
Well, not sure if you're on on a phone or not, but if you look at the top of the file, you'll see what her name is. <laughs> if you can't see it, then I'll tell you what it is. But just kind of teasing at the moment. I might make I might make adjustments to to her because there at one point I wasn't a hundred percent married to the frills that she had and I did went through like a few changes a few times so I was like nah I like them this way uh, yeah you're on phone <laughs> okay um, this character's name is Coffee. And just to alleviate some guessing, no, she is not a vassal or any or one of the Creamfield siblings. She is not part of any of them. probably adjust her colors more because at first I was thinking of giving her a pale blue or gray Her ass is not as big as Jam's. <laughs> she is standing in a different position as Jam. So her butt may not be as pronounced in that pose. gray for her clothes. She will be appearing in Plum's comic. Yep, another Color Gang member. And I can flat out tell you what, you, what where her role is if you want. Like, I don't have a problem saying it. Just let me know if you want to hear it. And if you don't, then I suggest leaving for a while. I don't know how long, because I don't know how long I'll rant about it.
I'd say give it like five minutes if you don't want to know. But first, let me know if you actually want to know what her whole deal is. Yeah, I almost gave her socks to ma or like the long socks too, but she was already wearing it on her on her arm. So I'm just gonna give her fish nets on her thighs. But yeah, um, I'll I'll explain who, who she is though. Um, basically, she will be um, Plum's fling in her comic, because like the whole idea is that. Plum purposely gets in trouble with like not doing house chores and shit because she's so into Jam's punishments and stuff like that. Because like one of the punishments Jam does is just sit on um, Plum, and that just you know gets her going and stuff. And so she's like trying to, you know, not be so obsessed with her sister. So she goes to like a bar to you know probably let off some steam. And then she ends up running, coming across coffee. And at first she thinks coffee is just jam in disguise or jam wearing makeup or whatever. Until she figures, she realizes it's not jam. And she like tries to figure out why that's the case. But then the two just start talking and they start hitting it off. And there's, there's no, re there's no reason why she looks like jam. It's just coincidence because you know, Obviously, you're bound to come across somebody that looks a, that looks like someone else, and this would be Coffee's case. She just happens to look like Jam, but there's like no other reason behind it. But then, like, due to her appearance, that also causes Plum to get really fucking horny, <laughs> and she really wants to bang it out with Coffee because it's like, oh my god, her ass is just like Jam's. She's a little chubbier in the belly and she's definitely she definitely does not have jam's personality she's more whatever personality and a little kinky and then of course plum wants to do butt stuff like eat her ass <laughs> And Coffee's just like, damn, you're a freak. But due to her not being a Creamfield character, that does mean that she is limited to what she can do when it comes to all the shenanigans. And granted, if Plum is around, some of it can still be exaggerated. But Coffee does have limits. Patrick sitting on some on Squidward's face. Yeah, exactly. She's just like, oh my god, her ass is just like jams too. And then like one of the things, of course, is you know, coffee sitting on plum, because that definitely starts um, gets on um, plum hard. Originally, the idea was. Um, jam allowing Plum to do kinky shit to because like one of the original ideas was Jam forbids um, Plum from from um, being all ludicrous and stuff like that and crazy and you know not going out and do, not doing chores and stuff like that it just like you know makes just takes away all the fun from Plum and Plum starts getting a little depressed and chunky and stuff like that and so then jam is like okay well i'll do something to make it up to her and then they do crazy shit 
And then there's like another storyline where it's going to be Jam and Kiwi that do something for Plum. But now I was like, no, I, I kind of want to give Plum her own scenario. So that's where Coffee comes in, where Coffee just happens to look like one of her siblings. And then that gets things going. Because for Plum, it's like, oh my god, I get to do the shit that, that, that Jam would never let me do. So yeah, that's the idea for her. I'll use the white on her to change to do the rest of that. Sorry, my voice sounds raspy. It sounds raspy to me right now. Maybe it's just because I haven't talked in a while. So yeah, this is Coffee. She's goth. And she meets Plum at a goth bar. And then they go fuck. Well, mostly... Mostly Plum is, Plum's gimmick is focused around like hyper conflation stuff, but weight gain will also be added in similar in a similar fashion to uh, Kiwi's. They'll just have like a different scenario. But um, but yeah, like each of the Creamville characters will have a gimmick focus, and then weight gain if it's not part of it. Some will have will be more fleshed out than others. Like I think for characters who uh, don't have like big giant storylines, I think I'll just have like an image set for them to have weight gain stuff. That way, it's not like overly the same thing over and over and over. Especially when they don't really have. They're not really going to get too much screen time in comparison to other characters. Yeah, like the the weight gain stuff is more of just it's just so something that comes along with the series is not necessarily part of it unless a specific character um, enables it. But yeah, like if it's not like a big thing, then it'll just probably be an image set. So like four or five, uh, five picks or something like that. Because if it's not a big thing like it was with um, Kiwi and Yorjadoth, or um, something that's part of the storyline like Jam um, eating um, Raz's soul or sucking on Raz's soul and all that, then it's just going to be something minor. Because I'm not going to keep making up reasons why it happens. So like in Coffee's case, um, I can add like a, a, like a, a scenario where waking is a thing. Because that's not that's not hard at all in her in this particular case, but I'm not going to do that for every character who gets a comic. And I am going to tweak this part right over here. And because coffee is not one of the one of the casts, that means she's not flat color either. 
or at least her character artwork will not be flat. Which reminds me, I need to make Douglas's at some point. But yeah, one of the color palettes she was going to have was like a desaturated blue, similar to Jam. And then I decided to kind of give her, make her more grayed. And it also matched the scenario she'd be a part of. And she's just like more vulgar than Jam, so that's why it gets confusing with Plum for a moment where she's like, wait, Jam wouldn't do any of this. And I was thinking of Plum showing like a picture of Jam to coffee, and it's just a picture of Jam sleeping with her ass in, ass in the camera. And then, I don't know, Coffee would probably make a comment going like, huh, she does kind of look like me if my ass is bigger, <laughs> even though their ass is literally the same. And we'll do a darker gray. Let's see. Put it on a different layer just so it would be easier to color. It would be a fun scenario to have coffee and jam converse with each other. Or who knows, maybe it is jam and she's just pretending to be someone else just to cheer up Plum. Someone should tell Shame something. It's only for um, the Greenfield cast because they overly exaggerate everything. But then again, who knows? It could be fattening. That seemed to be the case for um, Smasher, Smash in the, in the Will, Will of the Whips. So maybe, maybe they are. And I need to cover those boots. In the belts. Do that in a moment. That'd be cool. They do fit. I could totally see Jam seeing coffee and she's like, what are you talking about? She looks nothing like me. And there are differences with them, like um, coffee has more more of a pooch belly. Her frills are shorter and a little bit unkempt. unkempt. Um, she has like a dyed streak in, on one of her frills. She has a piercing, well piercings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Basically, it just it gives Plum an excuse to like bang her sister without actually banging her sister. But but like of course, coffee does has has limits unlike jam. So who knows, maybe in the future, when I do more side stuff, I'll make a scenario where Jam and Coffee get in the same place. And Coffee will pretty much be blunt about it too, to Plum, she'll be like, ah, so you want to bang your sister, huh? Is that, is that what all this is about? And like... Plum will, you know, immediately be like, yeah, I'm sorry. 
it's not and like she'll, she'll tell coffee like it's not like she wants to use her or anything like that and coffee will just be completely fine with it she's like nah i get it she won't mind the reason behind it but what she won't be ready for is all the crazy shit that Plum will want to do. Like, she'll be semi-ready, but not completely. Keep it in the family. <laughs> Gems too higher than thou though. You have to really catch jam on an off time to get her to do anything. You know what would be fun would be what if coffee helps out with jam dressing up to go out and have fun with Raz in one of the later stories that I have planned. That could work. Like coffee comes and helps her out. It's like, come on, we're gonna we're, we're gonna dress you up so you can get some. And then Jam would be like, get some what? Because <laughs> Jam wouldn't get it. Predatory prom on the plow on the prow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ass seeking missile. <laughs> So yeah, that could be a comic where, or uh, part of um, Raz and Jam's outing, where Coffee comes over to hang out with Plum, and they they ask um, Coffee to help to help um, dress up Jam, and then luckily <laughs> they they both have similar body types, so getting clothing for her wouldn't be an issue. And even if Jam ends up ruining it, they can reimburse her or something. But um, but yeah, could could have them like a little chill moment. That way, the two can meet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she just sees Coffee's ass and just like, target acquired. You like that wolf meme. You know, just be plum where she's like, she's like, sees giant peach, target acquired. And then one of the hints that she wasn't jam was that her eyes doesn't have the open white parts that the girls usually have. cast usually has siblings whatever and she doesn't have the lightning bolt squiggles on her cheeks that jam does okay yeah I'm not sure if I've colored this in or not
And I'll go grab the fish nets in a moment. Okay, so let's go grab that real quick. Now see, the, pr the, the problem for Plum now would be if Jam and Coffee hung out, and then the two tease Plum. Because then it's going to be like, okay Plum, now you got to deal with two bakeries. with the fishnets. <laughs> Two megabuts. <laughs> How hyper is it gonna be? Um, I'm gonna say big enough to be. What's the best way? Basically, like I almost want her to look like a beach, like a like she has a big beach ball in her stomach, but then she also you know, gets over overfilled and so she like erupts some cum from her mouth. Like a fountain or a small volcano. But haven't fully decided on what her limit would be, but she's definitely gonna look like a big like she swallowed a beach ball. Not I'm not uh, I'm not gonna i I'm like, I'm not thinking of making her like a waterbed type of scenario, but beach ball is at least the minimum that I'm thinking right now. If I decide to go bigger, then it'll probably be as I'm making the comic. I uh, kind of want her to be like dirty blonde. That is not blonde. And go a little whiter than that. Let's try it with this. There we go. But yeah, because like again, this would be coffee and plums first meeting so when they fool around coffee is not fully aware of what's gonna happen here so she's cool with butt stuff but then once it starts going crazy 
Okay, you know what? I can move this over here. There we go. That way. Yeah, that way when I make it part of the line art, it'll be easier to blur with her. But yeah, um... Like, she's fine doing butt stuff, she's like, whatever with it, but once Plum goes o over overboard with it, that's when Coffee's all like, what the, like, holy shit, like, I don't know if I can hold anymore, and then she's, you know, burst out with, with um, cum coming from her mouth. And then at the same time, it's, like, pretty hot to her. She's like, damn, I did not know I could do that. There's like some influence of Plum allowing that to happen. But then um, another part is just, you know, Coffee's ability to hold as much as she can. And then I was thinking of making her eye color one red and one like a like a white color because you know she's into goth shit so she could be cosplaying she could be having contacts or whatever or she could just or she might just have hetero heterochromia so with that too so it could be one or the other Yeah, I think it'd be fun. And plus, that way Plum gets herself a girlfriend to fool around with. You know what might make that gray, just so it doesn't match the whites of the eyes. So yeah, Plum gets herself a girlfriend to fool around with. Uh, might as well just make it the same color as your skin at that point. Unless I just make it pure white. Yeah, you can barely tell anyway. And yes, coffee is a smoker. I could totally see coffee wandering into Blake or not Blake, um, Becky's um, store and asking if they have any clothing in her size. And Becky be like, "Hey, I got gotcha. you." Goes over and gives her, uh, gives her like some, or shows her the large section. And when she finds it, um, I can see coffee's going sweet as <laughs> she finds clothing in her size. Or I could see um, Plum. Being um, or helping helping out with clothing and stuff, and when um, coffee's like, does this make my ass look fat? And Plum just says yes. <laughs> She's like, yes, God, yes, and, and coffee's like, good. I was looking for I was looking for something to make my ass fat. <laughs> and then that's when Plum is just like, Jesus Christ, she's perfect. <laughs>
Hello, Gilmon. Oh, thank you for the subscription. Oh yeah, I need to reset up my notifications and shit. I haven't done that for the new computer yet. Yeah, I'll try to find time to re retweet my streaming stuff. Because I don't have any of the stuff that I had before. So yeah, I'll have to get around to doing that. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for, for the subscription. Okay, do we have everything? I think we do. I was thinking of giving Coffee a back tattoo. And it just looks similar to the girls' tattoos, but it's not quite. Like, um, here, I'll draw what I'm thinking of it looking like. Like, you're not going to see it. But I was thinking of it... Because, like, the Creamfield cast, theirs is, like... Theirs is like this. Ah. Sometimes I make it look like with an arrow. Cause the cream cause the cream folk has theirs is like this. I was thinking of having hers look like this. So it looks like a person kinda. I'm not making it perfect right now. Has like a halo. And then just little wings like this and like her look is purely unintentional she just happens to have all of this stuff so something like that that's what i was thinking or it could just be a skull whatever <laughs> i mean she is goth whatever whatever works for her she doesn't give a shit nope this is not blueberry jam this is coffee I will say Plum finds herself a switch because I want I want to be where there's times where Coffee wants to be in charge. Coffee just sits on Plum's face and just and she just says, "Eat it, bitch." <laughs> and of course, you know Plum's not gonna complain to go fucking buffet on Coffee's ass, and I don't know Coffee can you know jerk her off, jerk off, um, jerk off or suck on um, Plum. So wanted to be like a back and forth between the two. Okay, so this should be fine. I am going to combine the, fi the fishnets and this together. Multiply. There we go. Hello, Doom. Just messing around for the night. And then this weekend, I will be at Comic Con Revolution in Ontario, California. So, might, well, I mean, I'll be home at night, so, or depends on what I do, honestly. So, I might not have time to work on certain things, but I do want to, you know, work on the next Blake pick and some other stuff. So when I get a chance to work on them, I will. And there's only five commissions left. Getting through them all. Want to ask? Uh... Oh yeah, I, I plan on doing other characters that aren't mine. Is there a fruit that has coffee in its name? I have no idea. <laughs> if there is, then that would be interesting. But yeah, I do plan to use um, other characters other than mine for the waking drives. When you'll be working on World Gates again? 
Uh, hopefully this year I plan to before October. Hopefully after this month I should be completely free to resume back to stuff that I've been doing. And then I want to make time for World Gates this year because this year is World Gates' uh, 20th anniversary. So I do want to do something, whether it be continuing this, the comics um, storyline or probably doing something on the side just to help, you know, get the engines back, back running for it. So one or the other. Is coffee like anti-blueberry? No, she just happens to look like blueberry. And Plum wants the wants the banger. She will be Plum's girlfriend. Plum is just like, no, no, don't focus on her. Just uh, imagine her in her underwear. Oh, no, she's hot. <laughs> no, even worse. It'd be like, fuck, that just makes it worse. <laughs> and then, I don't know, maybe for Plum, it'd be like, man, this would be a lot easier if I could just fuck, um, fuck the jam. Commission me again. I, it will be a while before I reopen for commissions again. And if I do, it's going to be vastly different than what I've been doing. Jam will just look at it and be like, she looks nothing like me. <laughs> Despite them almost looking exactly the same. Be like, what are you talking about? She looks nothing like me. And you cannot see any of this detail. Or if you can, it's so fucking. Oh, yeah, you can. It's just barely visible. Likely because of the fishnets. Which I've already combined, so I'm gonna keep going with what I'm doing. So yeah, coffee will help Plum with her guilty pleasure of wanting to bang her sisters. Mostly, ba uh, mostly Plum either wants to bang Jam or or Kiwi, because she's into fat asses and and small asses. She's kind of like whatever with the in between. <laughs> next commission will be in the next thousand years. If I was guaranteed to live that long, I would literally wait <laughs> until that happened. I'm like, I'm reopening. He's like, holy shit, after a thousand years. If I came across immortality... If I came across Immortality, good lord, I would work on so many things. They can fool around with each other. Um, Jam is like the only one where making that happen is not likely. Kiwi, she'd probably make, make it part of a bet. Where like if you best her in something, then sure, she'll... Let you banger. 
Jam, on the other hand, is like, she was like, that's blasphemy or whatever bullshit. And then she'll spew. Or it's not pure or whatever, whatever nonsense. Which all, all that's going to do is just make Plum more pent up. Most likely my descendants would keep my legacy alive, and that ain't happening. I don't think that would happen. Jam makes it a hard no. Yeah, exactly. Cause you gotta cause you gotta think about it. Jam's always the whole higher than thou, prissy pure type. And then she's rocking a fucking bakery behind her. And all that's doing is just pressing all of Plum's buttons. But she has no outlet for it. <laughs> And just makes her want to bang Jam even more. So now you have Coffee, who looks like Jam. So... One of the first reasonings behind why Plum wants to bang Coffee is the, due, to the, due to the resemblance. But then she does actually like Coffee. And they hang out more and, you know, date or whatever the case may be. Whatever you want to call it between them. They'll probably keep their fun times on minimum, though, because coffee won't, won't be able to keep handling all that every time. Not unless she feels like putting on a lot of weight due to excessive protein. Yes, exactly. <laughs> she likes her coffee with cream. <laughs> yeah, I saw your comments. I thought I answered. Uh, with the commission of another um, Kitsune and Fox. So, yeah, like I said, um, it'll be a while before I, I open up for commissions again. And if I do, it's going to be in a different manner. Because nowadays, it's just time is very minimal and I definitely overdid it with the amount of commissions I took on this recent time so can't be doing that again but I'm almost done with them all only five left one of them I wanna get done tonight And then the other three will take a little bit, and then the last one will be Alex's. No, I'm not available for commissions right now. <laughs> I'm already filled up with the ones I have. Because I had taken about 21, 23 commissions. And now I'm down to 5. So I have been busy these past few months. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, volume 1 was good. Volume 1 took a lot longer to do than originally planned. It was never supposed to be that long. But then stuff happened and here we are. <laughs> but I'm glad you liked it. Definitely learned a lot. Like I said, like sometimes when people ask like, you know, how do you get better at drawing a drawing a comic is literally my answer to that. Because you learn so much from doing it. You are consistently drawing your characters over and over and over. So you're cranking out the thousand images before you get one really good one scenario. And then... Um, 
you're, you know, working on your story and, and you know, you're not going to get like the perfect story um, the first, second, third, maybe maybe even fifth time, depending on how quickly you learn and all that. But it definitely helps you, you know, see if there is any problems before. If you want to tweak it, you can like because some people think that if when when I tell them to make a comic that they got to post it and stuff like that, I like, no, you don't have to post it publicly. You can just have it for yourself and, you know, look it over after you're done. And if there's things you want to change then you can try again and again and again. And if you're confident in posting it, then go for it. Like you're not forced into posting anything. The idea is that you are working on something and you're committed to it. And then you slowly get better and better and better over time. <laughs> playing and stuff that um feel bad for yeah i mean that's the whole idea of bad ending is just it's not supposed to be happy and then neutral ending was mostly just so it wasn't so similar to true ending so decided to make it offset it offset um the two but yeah like neutral and bad aren't canon so they are what they are at this point mostly for fun. And just to make them different. But true ending is definitely where the bread and butter is. You can totally see coffee just sitting around chilling and listening to goth music she just has like some coffee next to her and a cigarette and she just sits there chilling just listening looking around for thrift stores Slipknot. I would have to listen to Slipknot again. It's been so long since I've listened to whatever, because uh, I'm horrible with names, so I might have listened to them all the time and just didn't, didn't recognize the names. So, who knows? Whatever goth music. Like, most of the time I'll listen to, pretty, to nearly anything, so who knows? Like, I'm not super picky when it comes to music. But there are definitely certain types of music that I'm just like, eh, this is boring. Like most R&B and rap, I'm just kind of like, whatever nowadays. Like, I didn't mind listening to it back in the day, but nowadays it just sounds meh. Um, country is just why. I find it super boring. But give me... Death metal, goth, synth wave, dark wave, fucking Japanese shit. <laughs> like, just give me even K pop. Like, I'll listen to all that now um, and have no issues. Classical, I like classic. Like, Frederick Chopin and all that. Beethoven and all that. But the others, where it's like country and all that stuff, I'm just like, eh, it's boring. Bread and butter and all the rest of the breakfast buffet, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mercy definitely <laughs> enjoyed herself in those comics. Scott is like, here's your bread and butter, and then here's everything else <laughs> in the fridge. <laughs> I would say if Coffee and Jam did try to talk shit on each other, they would probably just go back and forth. But then again, Coffee probably wouldn't give a shit enough. She'd probably just look at Jam and go like, mine, someone's insecure. 
And Jan would be like, insecure? Not insecure about what? And then, I don't know, she'd probably tease her. She'd probably be like, you're just mad that your sister likes me more than you. <laughs> and she's like, what? <laughs> and then Plum is just going to be standing there going like, holy shit, is this happening? <laughs> both, both Coffee and Jam fighting over her. That'd be funny. And then she'll, and then Coffee, like, Coffee would probably instigate the situation. <laughs> so she'd be like, she'd be like, oh yeah, your sister gets to have all the fun, gets to do all the fun things with me. And you're just mad because you can't do it. And then Jam would be like, no, it's like, I can too. And so, <laughs> and so that's how Plum gets both of them in the same room. And then, I don't know, Coffee would probably just wink at Plum to, to state that this was on purpose. Um, color palette is her, is, um, this. Let me turn this off. She's mostly just gray. I was thinking of making a, a grayish blue to be similar to Jam, but then I was thinking just black and white with the blonde. With the blonde streak would be, uh, would suffice. But I didn't want her to look too similar to Rainbow. So I can always fool around with the color. So if I'm not happy with it, I can always tweak it. Luckily, the way that I draw makes it easy to swap colors. Might have to tweak the shading a bit if I need to, but it should be fine. But at the moment, I'm keeping her like grayish black and white. I didn't want her to be like the color of coffee because I didn't think that would make her look 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 um very right. I don't know. I mean, I can play around with it, I guess. But I definitely wanted to focus on her being goth, so I wanted to keep the whole black and white color palettes with some gray. Yeah, that's exactly how I wanted her. Because originally my thoughts were that she was like a desaturated jam colors. But then I was like, nah, I want her to be goth colors. And they just make her look, look better. Because it works for her. And gas, she's wearing shoes <laughs> or boots in this case. Which is like a fucking rarity at the moment. <laughs> For characters to be wearing shoes. But nah, she wants the fashion, so she's gonna work it. I was thinking of giving her some holes in her fishnets. But I can always save that for like the comic. Can say that her fat ass ends up ripping them every once in a while so she has like holes in them and she knows she has a big butt she's not uh, oblivious from it uh, oblivious to it and she knows she gets hit on for it but in plum's case there's a lot she plum makes it super obvious <laughs> that she's into coffee's ass Coffee can find it cute. She's like, oh yeah, Plum's definitely into into butt play. <laughs> Little does she know what she'll get herself into. But yeah, the reason why she's getting shaded artwork is because she is not one of the Creamfield siblings. So she doesn't have their 
reality breaking looks. A lot of meat to satisfy, satisfy those bugs. Oh, yes. And that's also going to be one of the things that surprises Coffee when she sees Bum's dick and she's just like, holy shit, where the hell is she hiding this? And then, like, Coffee will question the, the pronouns for a moment. She'll be like, wait, so she's a she, but she has this dick. And she's like, eh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to jump through the mental gymnastics on it. Like, she'll think about it for a brief moment, but then she, like, literally doesn't care. She'll be like, whatever. She got a big dick. <laughs> uh, let's try this one. And, like, one of the other ideas is just, you know, characters are bound to come across other characters that have similar looks to them. Like, not everybody is that unique. You're bound to find someone that looks similar to you. Or it could be your doppelganger, who knows? Yeah, Coffee is wearing a thong. A tiny piece of fabric between her ass and, and crotch. Exactly, and like, she got nice gams. Dean's got gams. Up to your neck. Well, in her case, it's her ass, but. But yeah, I almost I almost gave her big boobs, but now I was like, nah, I want the focus to be on her butt. I was gonna have her semi top heavy, but I was like, nah, let's just have the focus on her butt. And then, like, at first, you know, have Coffee be a little bit concerned where she's like, where, when she sits on Plum's face, where she's like, okay, um, let me know if I'm too heavy. And then, you know, if you need to come up for air or whatever, just, you know, let her know. But Plum doesn't ha have those issues. But she doesn't know what Plum can do. But you know, she's she's being considerate. Uh just a lizard. Probably a frilled lizard. Similar to Jam. Just like her frills are more treated like hair. That's why she has some split ends and stuff. And then she has that one part of her frill that's dyed blonde. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Coffee will definitely help out with Plum's backed up storage. Never seen a blue lizard. I mean, I 
There's a lot of things <laughs> that that are like, oh, I've never seen that before. That's going to be a lot in their world. I'll put the shadow on the back in a moment. But yeah, I could totally see like once coffee meets jam and sees why Plum is so obsessed over it, she'll probably try to instigate for a three-way between them. Give Plum a double bun surprise. Or, or double the cake. She'd be like, hey Plum, you 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 ready for some cake? <laughs> Western fence lizard. I mean probably, I don't know. I'll be honest, I just kinda of threw shit together to make it and thought it looked nice. Wasn't really thinking of the specific species. A lot of the times when I'm doing something is just because I thought it looked cool. It's kind of it. <laughs> it's kind of the logic with me. It's like, oh yeah, the president, she just has fucking mechs as her secret service. And her best weapon is called the weapon to end all wars. AKA her dick. <laughs> Oh yes, <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah, I, I could see that with Plum and, and them. Just jam sucking on her soul while while um, either being sucked off or ridden by coffee. It's just going to make Plum double come at that point, both soul-wise and physically. Spiritually and physically. And then I could totally see, like, once Plum is fucking passed the fuck out after being overwhelmed by both of them, assuming that's even a thing, um, could see Jam warming up to coffee and they both hang out. Have coffee be like, oh, I know a look that would totally work for you. And the jam be like, really? Like, he's like, oh yeah, let me show you. And then they both like, you know, play dress up or whatever. Have some fun together. Good night. Yeah, I should probably do like side art of just jam and coffee posing together. Have coffee go get on get an all up and jam's ass and vice versa or something shits and giggles and then plum would just buy all my artwork plum would just be like i'll take your entire set um plum it's digital i'll take your entire set <laughs> or stock i should say not set it's like i'll take it all She just has wallet size pics of the both of them.
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jam will fuck the soul while coffee fucks you physically. Jam fuck or er, coffee fucks the body. Jam fucks the the soul. There we go. Any reason why I call her coffee? Um, honestly, it was just just something that that wasn't a fruit. And then because um, she is goth, I figured coffee would fit her. He's like, how do you like your coffee? And she's like, black. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> remember the Eggo Waffle? Of course I remember those commercials. <laughs> That's one of the, the reasons why I'm in the Vore. <laughs> Love those commercials. Those commercials are fun. And at the same time, people are like, how are you in Devor? I'm like, excuse me, did you grow up in the 90s? That's, that's all we fucking saw was fetishy shit. Oh yeah, you have, there's Egovore. Just, just type in waffles. Like with, with F-U-L-L-S. And you'll find that easily. Like, you know what? Let me find it real quick and I'll just post it in the discord ego waffles where are they actually I'll just type in vor might make it easier yep there they are uh Sure, I'll just save this one. I'll post it in Discord. There you go. That and the big bad wolf. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, there's been so many things <laughs> growing up that if if I had to answer anything it's like oh how are you in Awakening how are you in the blank 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 I would just say I grew up in the 90s it was unavoidable <laughs> it was literally in everything like it's still around in newer ca cartoons and stuff but I don't think it's as prominent as it was before. Like, it's still there, but I, I don't think they go as overboard as they did back in the 90s. Back when you could draw whatever the fuck you wanted. And people didn't bitch as much. I'm pretty sure someone bitched back then, but didn't seem as obvious as it is nowadays. Like, let me put it this way. The end, the, like, the end of Evangelion, for example, I do not think they'd be able to do that nowadays because of how sensitive everybody is. And I, yeah, like I'm not, I'm not talking about the rebuilds. I'm talking about the original movie. If you've ever watched that, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like the first like what five minutes of the movie. <laughs> you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. Uh, 
Oh, is that one a YouTube poop? I didn't really look at it. Uh, oh yeah, it is. Fuck. Let me delete that. Not the one I wanted to show. Hold on. I hate the YouTube poops. They're just a waste of space. Uh, okay, this should be the right ones. Copy, I could this. Let me just watch it and just pause it for a moment. Uh, should be fine. I don't think it has any of that. Alright, sorry about that. Yeah, it's like, they were a fun idea when they started, now they're just annoying. That was like the only time they were good. Like, it's just as annoying as when they, when everybody started doing Rick Rolls. And sometimes those, like sometimes those type of memes are, are still good. It just depends on how you do it. But oftentimes, if you're trying to find something specific and then you keep getting troll videos, then it just pisses you off. Honestly, I think if it's obvious in some cases, then I think it's fine. But it's like, okay, here's a here's a trick or troll or whatever. Just make it obvious and you get less people bitching. Like me, for example, because I'm bitching. But yeah, I think just do it in moderation. Because once you get the initial person who does the, the meme, then it's really hard to top that. Especially if when you do it, it just gets annoying. Or if somebody else tries it and they don't do it right. I think that's the point. Yeah. It's like yes and no. It's like people do it just for the clout. And they don't understand what made the meme funny to begin with. And then that's when it becomes a problem. Like right now, one of the weird memes, well, it's not weird, it's just super repetitive because nobody's like going out of, out of their comfort zone, is um, the stop chewing meme with the FNAF, FNAF characters. And it's literally the same thing over and over, just in a different angle. And sometimes like a pro an extra prop is thrown in. But it's literally the same characters in, in a different angle. And that's it. Like nobody's decided to use other characters at the moment. But I don't know. It'll, it'll, like memes work themselves out. Like they're good and then they burn out very quickly nowadays. And then some memes are still good, like you can, they'll go through time and all that, but then other ones are just like good for a month and then that's it. Like you have to wait a long enough time to make them relevant again. This is up to the place of service plum. Apple cider. What's the best way to it? Apple cider is a little bit into other things than just just pure butt stuff. Like she's into anal, but you're gonna have to role play with her to to earn it. And Plum would rather just bang it out right there and then.
Oh, yes. Go for her buried treasure. <laughs> And plus, apple cider will show up later on. Because there's a reason why in the beginning of the of the comics, um, at least in um, episode two, that Daylock mentions that there was only six of them. Because if that were the case, then where did the others come from? And there's some, like, you know, narrative BS that goes along with it, so bear with me in my bad writing. I am not a writer. Yeah, it could be just Plum doesn't like the pirate the pirate get him. She doesn't want to roleplay pirate stuff. And that's it, like they just don't get along. Or it could be just because Plum Plum's a, a wolf and Apple Cider's a Fox Centaur. Or it could just, just be simple that um, Apple Cider's ass isn't enough for Plum. She's like, yeah, Apple Cider likes to do um, butt stuff too, but uh, her butt's not big enough. Her ass doesn't satisfy. Oh, there are already the seven deadly sins running around. And they're all they're all aware of them too. Oh so, yeah, Gluttony's doing her own shit. But don't confuse Gluttony with Yorjadov, because Yorjadov will never let you hear the end of that. Give me an R, Rar? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I could totally just see Plum just not being into roleplay like that. Like, Apple Cider tries to dress her up in, like, a pirate outfit, and Plum is just, like, not interested. <laughs> just looks like she's bored out of her mind, or just being lame about it. She's like, I, I, our matey, you'll walk the plank. And she's like, no, come on, put feeling into it. He's like, he's like, Apple, this is dumb. Like, it's not dumb, it's cool. <laughs> and Plum would be like, yeah, I don't mind being your butt pirate, but not like this. Or fuck it, maybe I'll just do a comic later in the future of them just fucking around. I don't know. It's not like I can't do it. Have them do that. Only time will tell, and time sucks right now. Time is an unforgiving asshole right now. But that's okay, because we'll we'll get through it. Just gotta work for it. Okay, I think I'm done with this relentless shading. Do, do, do. Here's going to be the interesting part. What color do I use for this? Let's try this. Well, first I'll try this color that I normally use and see if it does anything. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
She looks way too peach color. So let's do this. Uh, kind of gives her too much blue. Mm, this does lean into more what I was thinking earlier. Uh, this is going to get in my head now. I'm going to go with this one. And we'll move on from there. Now the painful journey of me remembering what colors I used for her whenever I draw her again. But then again I have files, so hopefully that will suffice for what I need to know. If by some weird twist of fate, time gets distorted or whatever, I could see Douglas going out with coffee. <laughs> She'd be tall as fuck <laughs> compared to him. Mm. Douglas would be like, I like big women. <laughs> and she'd be like, I know you do. And she sits on his face. Or just sits on him in general since he's so small. Shouldn't be much longer with her. Luckily, she's not complicated. I almost, I was thinking of give, putting the Bad Records logo on the back of her jacket. Which is the same band that Becky's mom is into. Forget if I mention if Becky is into them or not. And she just doesn't know that those are her fathers. Now you want to find that sketch of round apple cider. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. Good luck with the hunt. Go find apples, apple cider's treasure. <laughs> and yay, next week is more Arknights stuff. I need to level up Stainless. I want to level them up. I hope at some point we get like a mech to use, other than, um, was it Asparagus that has it, or Eucalyptus? I forget which one has the parrot robot. But I mean, like, I want an actual mech suit. That'd be fun. That'd be fun to use. I forget which one had it. <laughs> I think it starts in the E. And Nectus, okay. I, I'm horrible with names. All I know is what the character looks like. If I remember the names, it's a fucking miracle. It's 
just get a, two pictures, one of jam and one of of um, coffee, and show it to Plum. <laughs> Plum is like, they're the same picture. <laughs> but it's just their asses. It's not even them. It's not even like of them from the from the faces. Plum could just point them out in a lineup. It's like, yep, oh, that, that one's my girlfriend and that one's my sister. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like the office. <laughs> I've been watching Housebroken, and that show is like a better family guy. It's more grounded, and it, it doesn't have like too much zany stuff going on. Like, stuff that's just super outlandish but it has like that feel of family guy but it just involves like house pets and stuff it's really fun i've been enjoying it i got into it by one of the episodes in season two but i'm starting from the beginning because i was like i was like i was like what is this show i'll give it a chance and then sure enough that one episode was really good so i've been watching it from there Oh, it's called um, um, House Broken. It's about all these like animals, and like one of the main characters is a therapist poodle, and she just listens to everybody's fucking problems, and they're all talking about like outlandish shit. It's really fun. <laughs> How they want to use them? Yeah, like her ability is weird because it makes her not like a decent blocker, so you have to pair her with something else to make her worth it. And then, ho like, hopefully there there will be a module in the future that makes her better. Because luckily they've done that now, where characters can get module upgrades to make them less shitty. So I like that they can like revamp characters now. So that way they don't have to like either make a new version of the character or rework them. They can just give them an item. And the item is optional, like you still don't necessarily need it, but it'll definitely help out if you get it. Again, that's why I like Ark Knight so much. It's like they give you all this shit. A lot of it is optional. You can still beat the game with weaker characters. Or, you know, get through the game with weaker characters. But if you have stronger ones, then that's just, like, going crazy depending on the, the, the level. Because, you know, you can still get your ass clapped from certain enemies. And, like, certain enemies have, have now taken a, account that you'll have stronger characters like that. Because some of them will have, like, invisibility for a while or invincibility for a while or have high resistance to certain attacks, so you have to, like, actually think. South Park episode that made fun of Family Guy. Yeah, that was funny. They did the same thing to, to the, the Simpsons. But yeah, I like the earlier seasons of um, Family Guy, so, like, I don't know, up to, like, season four or five or something like that. Not quite sure which where to pinpoint it at the moment but yeah like the earlier seasons were definitely the better ones same thing for the simpsons south park for the most part you can kind of come and go for any season probably pull his finger out and continue and start. Yeah, I need to jump back into some of the story because some of it I like skim over. 
Like I'll I'll get the gist of what's going on, but then a lot of times I'm just like I just want to have fun killing killing enemies. So I'll like skim through it and then I'll like come back to it later, or have like a video explain it or something, or go over it in like a visual novel type of thing with voice acting or something. So or I just look it up on like wikis and stuff. So it just depends on my mood. Yeah. Not all of them are great. But um, at least it's just world building at this point. It's like, okay, all this shit's going on. These enemies are doing something. Honestly, the... I forget what it was called. It was the one with um, Scotty and the other under, under dwell, underwater dwellers or whatever they're called. I think that was like the best one because then you just have all these like tripped out creatures and shit. And then what's her name is gets her memories back and she's all fucking sadistic. Hopefully the Mafia one will help it out. But honestly, I've just been skimming over the, the story at this point. And every once in a while, when I do look at the story, I just see, like, I see, like, a character that we don't have yet. And I'm just like, why the hell is this character not playable? And then I just wait. Like, um... Like, cheese, um... Um... Aunt, I want her to be playable. Or Shen, Chen's. Um, I don't know why I said she. No, uh, Chen's, Chen's on. I definitely want her playable. I was like, fuck, she has a cute design. Make her playable. And then when you read up on her, it's like, oh, she's a really good tactician. Apparently, she's good at some magic stuff, too. And I'm like, fuck, why is she not playable? Oh, yeah, Victoria Banuki. She's just like, whatever. <laughs> it's like, just, just vomit. And I'm like, um, about that. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I'm making sure. I still like that Angelina <laughs> mentions that her enemies are putting on weight when she uses her power. So now it's my headcanon now is that she makes enemies gain weight. Like I know it has to do with gravity, but I like to think that it's, that's something else. It's like it's like no, her power is gravity. Like sure it is. <laughs> so right now my headcanon is just that her powers can make people gain weight. Like the, like, the moment she was in English and I heard her say that, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa hold on. <laughs> Wait, what? You've been saying that this entire time? It's like, man, you really you really started to go up in the ranks of, of top characters I like now. <laughs> Sometimes she's hard to use, though, especially nowadays with the way certain enemies are. She either doesn't get a chance to really help out the team as often as she used to, or you just have to use her in a more defensive state to keep her from getting knocked off too easily. But she's still useful, like she's not a bad character. Especially when she has the passive that just heals your team over time. It's like, oh, that's good. Because the fun part about characters that can heal over time is that they don't count as healers. So characters like Rock, like um, like Mudrock and uh, monster can actually be healed by them because they don't count as healers so that is like a very useful 
passive gimmick to, to know. Yeah, because, like, I think with, um... Fuck, is it Scotty or is it the... I forget which one does the singing that buffs your team. But, like, she's not counted as a healer either. And you can use her to heal them. And then, um... Mirth... I think I'm getting it right. I'm like, I'm more, I'm like I, I know who I'm talking about, but I don't I have trouble with their names. Um, Murph, she has the same thing too with her passive. So like if the character is like a melee character and they normally don't get healed by healers, her passive also heals them. So it's really useful information. Like obviously they're not getting healed as much as a normal healer would heal them. But it's still good for when they have like a moment to breathe and they're being healed on the side without you having to do anything. So yeah, I like that there's like little mechanical gimmicks or mechanical um, advantages that you can do because of stuff like that. I need to try to go through the um, the tower thingy again. Because I've mostly just been using it to get items, but um, I need to go through the whole thing so I can try to get the metal from it. Because I haven't really tried. I think I tried like once or twice and then I got sidetracked to everything else. Because there is so much fucking content in that game. That reminds me, I need to go through all the story stuff and make sure I did the side, the side uh, missions. Because I think I'm missing like one or two. I wonder what, I, what effects I would give coffee if I made her into a card. Probably have something to do with jam and plum. Like not make her super good, just make her get, give him like a passive or something. The new one's crazy, especially with that fucking mech. Like fuck that thing. <laughs> I will say that, uh, fuck, is it, is it Sh Shimmer? Is that who I'm thinking is? The girl with the, with the cursed puppet, um, she's useful to help weaken the, the giant mech suit. Cause she has a passive that, or not a passive, but her, um, cursed doll weakens the opponent's attack power. And I think defense by 50%. Or however percent high it is if she's leveled up. So I was like, oh, that's fucking useful. <laughs> so I like how there's like a site, a character on the side that just ha that just happens to have an ability that will help you get through certain missions a lot easier. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thank thank God, I, I needed that. And then thorns is really good too. And then if you have um, Angie, Angie also reduces their resistance for a certain period of time so that helps so yeah keep that in mind like just look at the stats of the bosses and what they do and then look for characters that fit the appropriate situation and you'll be like oh thank christ <laughs> thank god i can read <laughs> Still, though, would be nice if they added in a fat character, just saying. Just saying, would be nice if they added in a fat character.
Yeah, could do something like that. Depends on where I go with Plum's mechanics. But yeah, like if there's like a negative or something, or like something that Plum has to rely on, Coffee could help make up for that. So Coffee would be a really good support. And maybe like if Jam is in play or something, it would help make it easier to play Coffee. Yeah, exactly. Tie it into her comic self. That's what I try to do with some of the cards. I try to tie them into stuff they would, that they're doing in their lore. Obviously, that can't apply to everything, but I try. I try to make it make them based off of their comic selves. That's why Marcy can search out any male character, but if it's Skylar, she lowers um, Skylar's cost. But yeah, I mean, Coffee will definitely get a card at some point. I just don't know if it'll be in the set that's that I'm working on. Okay, so we're almost done. Brighten up her face. Brighten up other parts of her that need it. I almost gave Coffee a skirt. But I was like, nah, she would just have her ass out. Doesn't mean she can't wear a skirt though, so I can always put her in different clothing. But initially I want her to be all all hanging out. <laughs> yeah, could could do that. Where you look at the like the top three or five cards, depending on whatever scenario. And if you get coffee, um, like she could look at like the top three or five cards, change the order if you want. But if you find coffee, you can add coffee to your hand. And then, let's just say, like, I'm still, this is still brainstorming. I haven't, like, um, solidified on anything. But, like, let's just say you have jam in your hand. You can discard jam and put out coffee. Or put jam back into your deck to play coffee for free. Or give you the ability to play her, but um, in addition to your normal um, drafting. But then, like, Maybe at a lower cost. So that way she's not 100% free. Or if I allow Plum to add any card to your hand then it would have to be restricted to female characters. Though she is fine with banging men, but I think she'd be more into female booty. Like, that would be her main target, at least. Coffee addict joke. <laughs> oh yes, she's addicted to coffee. <laughs> she likes having her morning coffee. Coffee's just gonna roll her eyes. He's like, we're gonna get a lot of coffee jokes, aren't we?
haven't decided what her last name was. Originally, though, I was going to name her Jelly. Jelly Jam. But now I was like, nah, we, we, I want to keep it away from from Blueberry Jam and sounding like a fruit character. So I named her Coffee. Thank you. Almost done with her. I think these are fine. So let's move on to the next step. I like her boots. Need to get me a pair. Which I tried, but they don't have them in my fucking size. Ah, women. Women always have the good shit. Like, seriously, men barely have anything. Like, I could probably find these in men's size, but they're not as cool most of the time. But I'm sure there's some store or shop or whatever that has them. Maybe later in the year. I already got more than enough stuff for cosplays and whatnot. Coffee is technically a berry. Okay, that makes sense. That works. Like, I was sitting there thinking about it. I was like, wasn't... Uh, thinking that in the back of my head, I was like, wasn't... Isn't there a coffee that's... There isn't coffee a, a, a fruit or something? And I couldn't quite remember if that was true or not. Because I know the coffee bean and all that, but I couldn't remember if it was a fruit. So if it is, then cool, that worked out. <laughs> I was like, cool. <laughs> it, it, it worked itself out. Oh, that reminds me, I need to... Did my poll end today? Let me check real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Did the poll end? Yes, it did. And the winner was Gilmon. It looks like literally by one vote by the looks of it. Oh, this character, your favorite? <laughs> this one just got made. This is not Jam, just to let you know. She just looks like her. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me grab Jam's artwork. <laughs> let's, let's make this funny. Do, do, do. Now I clicked on the wrong drive. There we go. Do, do, do. Yes, clear, clearly, clearly the two do not look alike. <laughs> there's, there's no resemblance of these two. Clearly, this one has a has a chubby gut. She has a pot belly. Whereas Jam's is a little bit more slender on hers. Although I think I've exaggerated some of that over the years. Let me see. Let me find the more recent artwork. Uh, do 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 do. Vices. I think this was like her more recent. I'll just bring it up. No, she's still slender. The damned them thighs. Anyway. But yeah, slight differences between the two. Oh, so slight. Jane and Jane. Her name is Coffee. <laughs> and she, she will be Plum's girlfriend in the future. In the upcoming comic. Bigger ass, let's not forget. <laughs> I could see Coffee teasing 
Jam about that. She'll just say like, "Nah, we don't look alike. My ass is bigger than hers." And then, and then Jam will be like, "No, my ass, my ass is bigger." And Jam doesn't normally care about this stuff, but she's not. Gonna, she doesn't want to be one up to buy, buy coffee. For whatever reason. And then Plum will just be sitting there going like their asses are both exactly the same, but I'm going to let them fight it over. And then Coffee is just like, alright, let's have let's have Plum take a look. Plum, which whose ass is bigger? <laughs> and they both just bend over right in front of her. Or show off in front of her. And Plum is just like, I love my girlfriend right now. <laughs> uh, yes, I do have Patreon and Discord. Um, the Discord comes from the Patreon. It's normally where you get it from. There we go. But yeah, I could totally see Coffee purposely pissing off Jam. Just because it'll... it'll It'll give Plum some eye candy. Yeah, that would be an interesting thing. Because um, cause in Coffee's case, obviously she can't do the conflation all the time. She, you know, she has to wait it out. But she's def she, she definitely get into it, though. Could make a joke that she puts on weight from all the extra protein, but it's not necessary, really. Can always do it in like a side comic or something, or that could that, that could tie into the whole weight gain thing for Plum when that gets added. Could have could have coffee show up, and she's put on obvious amount of weight, and so. To get revenge on Plum, she gets whatever she needs to get to overfill Plum. Could be some weird cartoony gag, or it could be food, or whatever my insane mind decides on. My first thought was that she just gets a barrel of cum and just pumps the hell out of um, Plum with it. But I could, I could probably think on that for a bit. We'll sit on it. Not that he did it, but definitely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She won't. She won't be like crazy for it, but she'll definitely have a good time because of Plum. <laughs> you joined the Patreon. Now you're a true fan. <laughs> Yeah, let me know if the Patreon doesn't give you the Discord. Just um, if it doesn't give it to you automatically, then just send me an, a message on um, Patreon, and I'll get back to you when I get a chance. Because sometimes people get it automatically, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes I think you have to have Discord open, but I don't know. It didn't. Okay, yeah, just send me a message on Patreon when you get a chance and then when I have the when when I have the chance likely after I'm done streaming I will send it to you <laughs> one of us one of us <laughs> almost done Let's move Jam over here. Um, I need your 
eyes. You like your chunky big titty goth mommies? <laughs> you can make that like a quirk with coffee. Like maybe she's like a little miffed that she's not exactly top heavy, but Plum likes her fat ass, so. That 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 balances it out for her now. <laughs> She's like, okay, <laughs> like my girlfriend likes my chunky butt. Guess I'm fine with it. <laughs> fine, not having big titties. Uh, we can move this over here. You sent it. Okay, I'll I'll get to you when I'm done with the stream. Shouldn't be much longer. Could do like a little gag where, where um, where coffee gets up in the morning, and Plum's like, "Here you go, here you go, coffee. I made, I, I made you some coffee," <laughs> or or she's like, "Here you go, sleepyhead. I made you some coffee," and she's sitting there drinking. And it's like, "Thanks," because she like she just likes her coffee black and nothing in it. But then like Plum's kind of hovering next to her, and she's like, "Okay, you can Matt, you can do it," and so Plum just jerks off and adds some cream. To her coffee, and she just she just looks at Plum. She's like, "You enjoy this, don't you?" And she's like, oh, "Of course." <laughs> they could like make it a day where, like, on Fridays or something. That's when Plum gets to do that. Be a little bit less than that. There we go. Either her, either one of her eyes is red, or either her eyes are red and she wears a context to change the color, or her eyes are white and she wears a context to change it red. Could be either or.
She's a descendant of Uchiha Queen. You can say that she normally has red eyes, but she just wears the white context to offset it. Like, red eyes is not a uncommon thing in their world. Because, you know, Skylar has red eyes. It's the orange eyes, though. Those are the, the rare ones. That are usually for god characters. Her frills are not like jams. Hers are more hair like. Turn this one down a bit. Because her frills can actually get messed up. Originally, I was going to put eyeliner on her, but uh, I think the black just works for it. So I'm just going to make it look like she has some gloss on her eyelids. It could be just the shininess of her frills, though. Almost gave her lipstick, but I was like, nah, I think a mouth piercing or a lip piercing would be better. Again, it's fashion though, she can always put that stuff on later. <laughs> oh, I did not notice the stretch reward. Maybe that's what Doom was talking about. Well, I'll do it now, just in case. Just in case I missed it. Big stretch. Yeah, she would obviously wear black lipstick. But, uh, I think she's fine without it for now.
Or I can always experiment. We'll see. But yeah. Um, if she did, if I did give it to her, it'd be black. Oh, the uh, sketch of of apple cider. I don't even know if I even posted it. But if it's not in there, I can look for it. Let me check real quick. Uh, Dropbox. If it is in here, it's probably in the $5 tier. I had to take a wild guess. Artwork. Do, do, do. Oh, I need to update the Fat Lotus Club stuff too. Uh. It's probably not in here. There's Fat Blood Orange. There's Becky in the dress. Yeah, I don't think it's in here. Hold on, let me check to see if I even have it. Uh, where would I put them? Check this folder. Ah. Okay, yeah, it's it's in a folder that I don't even think I've uploaded to this thing. Yeah, fuck it. Um, after the stream, I'll add in these. Like, there's like a shit ton of line art that I just haven't uploaded. So yeah, I think some stuff I might have added, like some of the doodles and stuff. But other than that, I don't, there's just a whole bunch of shit that's not even here. You're so busy, you're forgetting things. I think I just never uploaded it in general. Just wasn't a th thought in my head. <laughs> yeah, I think I showed it, and if I didn't post it on like DeviantArt or whatever, then I probably just never posted it. Should I have? I should probably add a cloth texture on this. I'll do that in a moment. We're almost done with this. Uh, should her? Yeah, fuck it. I'll make her shorts a little shiny. That way, when she bends over, she can have a shiny ass. <laughs> then again, she does have her scales to be shiny, too. So, all kinds of shiny. Some shine on her body. Not, not a lot, though. I don't like to add too much shine on the bodies anymore. There was a time where I did that a lot, but I try to keep it a little reserved. Unless it's like absolutely necessary. Because she does have scales, so she would be shiny. But I try not to overdo it. Some on her thighs. That should be enough. Just like one stroke. Yeah, she has a tattoo on her back. Haven't decided if it'll be like angel wings or a skull. But again, I have to like consider that for when I 
draw her more in the future because if I get too elaborate with tattoos, then that means I have to draw them for every scene that she's in. And unless I like make the tattoo and then just warp it, depending on location, then that could become a pain in the ass. Oh, apple cider. <laughs> She'll get her time. Ever be a fucking pirate thief and they get captured and then railed in prison. And then she just busts out. Which she could have left at any time. But she enjoys the game. Angel Wing sounds like basic bitch shit. <laughs> okay, I'll give her a more elaborate back tattoo. And then I'll just use I'll just make it and then warp it on her back when I need to show it. And if, we, and if I don't show it, that just means she'll be wearing her vest a lot. Just because I'm lazy and don't feel like using her back tattoo super often. Yeah, I could do a skull. And then make an elaborate, like, I don't know, bat wings with fucking vines coming out of it and a flower gushing out of the mouth or something. Or coming out of the eyes. Like the skull is choking on roses or something. Skulls are cool. That's why Viro has a skull on his forehead, which I will be converting back to the way I had it, because I don't like it the way it is. So either I will draw a new version or upgrade the current version because the current one is fine as it is. Either or. Okay, and before we're done with this, let's put, let's see if I can do this here. Open. Uh, where am I looking? Where are you? Is it cloth that I'm looking for or stitching? No, not stitching. Let's try cloth. No, there was another one. I think it's hatching. Uh, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Fuck, where is it? No, do not close. Ooh. Let me save this just in case. Open. Uh, so it wasn't that. Was it crosshatch? Yes, this is what I was looking for. Copy. Paste. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Let me put it over here. Yeah, that way it gets the shading and all that. 
Uh, how would I look if I put it in here? What does that look like? Uh, that looks kind of lame. Just drop it back to 30. Put it up here. Okay, so yeah, she does have some cloth stitching. Although I am debating... Nah, I think it's fine. It's fine. I'll just have to keep it in mind in the future. Because that way it can look nicer. Or... Actually, that, that looks nicer. And that way it's not being overwhelmed by the shading. Yeah, that looks nicer. Okay, so there. She has the cloth on her... Or on her... On her gloves. So why is pumpkin a berry and pumpkin is a fruit? Uh, in from what I've researched, pumpkin is considered a fruit. All right, she is done. She just needs one finishing touch. Where are you? There we go. You. Oh yeah, I need to add that one thing on her. One other detail I forgot. And the rest is fine. I'm not going to be super anal about that. One little detail I forgot. the areas I want darkened and lightens the areas I want lightened. She an imposter. <laughs> okay, so all that's left now is figuring out what kind of background to give her. Uh, I have no idea. I'm thinking just staticky nonsense. Because I don't want it to make it super elaborate. Uh, gritty? Is that what I'm looking for? Yes. lighten it so it doesn't overpower the picture. Oh yeah, I need to light her cigarette. I completely forgot about that. I'll do that in a moment. I was all looking at her hand. I was like, oh yeah, she has a fucking cigarette. 
probably had the or do something about that. Let's try seventy. Might be too late. Let's try thirty. And then let's offset it, so let's put the light over here. Could work, I just have to lighten it. This one's not bad either. Sometimes that's the hard part about simple backgrounds. A lot of them could look good. I might give her an outline just to help her stand out more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give her an outline. Black and white splash. Uh, which one was that? <laughs> was it? Oh, oops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, put you back to normal. I must accidentally click that. So I'm just going to keep going. You tell me when to stop. I'll wait a bit just so you can let me know. I'll wait like 30 seconds or so. Maybe less. Oh, this one? <laughs> okay, I can do that. I can make this a thing. So, let's see. Let's make a copy of these so that way I can tweak it more. So, let me just move these up. Merge. And then I can play around with it now. Oh yeah, because these already have it. So let me put, let me turn these off. So now this one I can play with. Because I can keep this one like this. Turn that one on. Turn this one here. Just put this one back to normal. And then mess around with stuff. Okay, pumpkin is a fruit. Didn't know that. <laughs> so yeah, now we can play with this. Ooh. And that is another time that my light has flickered. Is my light dying? Is that what's happening? It's probably. Let me save just in case it's not my light and it's my power or something. Okay, so let's play around with this. Or 
we can... Where is it? Crap. Ah, here we go. We can have this. Let's make a copy of this. Then we'll flip horizontal. Flip vertical. Okay. Hold on. Put this back to normal. Ooh, that looks bad. Uh, let me grab it first so I can fix it. Why am I not? Oh, no wonder. It's so fucking huge. Why is it so big? Oh, because of what I had it. That's why. Okay. So we get this, and now let's put this on top. Change this to exclusion. Yes. Merge these two. And now turn this to screen. And we get this. Yes. This looks cool. Now I just need to kind of loosen up on these two. So let's put them in a folder. This is kind of cool. I just got to figure out how to balance it with her. So yeah, I think an outline would help her out. So let's play around with that. Let's cover this white. And I feel there's a way we can play around with this too. So let's rasterize. Because I know there's a way to make it where she has a black on top and then white on bottom. Yeah, that's kind of what it was here. Yeah, because it's kind of doing that. Not sure if I have to go more extreme with it though. Let's see, because this is the original idea. Is that a blur to it? Ooh, that could be a thing. She could be a tattoo artist. Yeah, that could be your job. She can be a tattoo artist. Maybe put a tattoo on her ass. I don't know. <laughs> Whichever works. And then we'll just lessen this a bit. So it's not so overpowering. And then if I need to, I can still lighten up on the background. If it looks like it's too much. So let's see. Let's see how white it looks. Nah, see, the hard part is that I don't want to drown out the black. But if I do that with the white, this is like a. Damned if you do, damned if you don't scenario. Uh, it's not too bad. Just 
Let's start from 70, work our way down. Oh no, I was just trying to balance out <clears throat> her and the background. So that way she's not being overwhelmed. I think this is fine. I do need to do another save that though, so let's do that real quick. There we go. Okay. Think think we're good. I'm not going to put her name like I do with the cream coat guys cuz she's not one of them. So she'll get the treatment that the other characters get. So now I just need to put my logo on her. And then we're done. Come on. Thank you. Let's close this. Don't need this anymore. I'll just keep jam up just for the hell of it. Okay, who's the most recent that I can use? Might be Caitlyn. I'll just grab Blake. Blake should have what I want. Yeah. Thank you, Blake. fine. I don't need to do anything. Okay. So now we have coffee. Haven't decided if coffee will be her actual name or if it'll be a nickname. You can make coffee a nickname. And then she'll just have like an actual name. But she uses coffee for like friends and work or something. It's like, oh, hey, coffee, because she's known for drinking coffee and all that. So, yeah, I'm, I think I'll give her like an actual name, but have but call her coffee. So 
So yeah, this will be Plum's girlfriend, who just happens to look like Jam, which will give Plum a dilemma. <laughs> She's like, she looks like my sister. <laughs> her ass looks like my sister. So <laughs> just put her in a fucking conundrum. But yeah, that, that's it for tonight. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, I will stream again tomorrow. And hopefully I can get more stuff done. If not, then hopefully this month will be... I mean, I still have next week and all that, but hopefully this month will be the last. Hopefully. I mean, I know I've been saying that for a while now. So I'm going to try to work on more commissions and get those over with. Um, I think after the one that I have tonight... The others should be easier to do because they're not comic pages, whereas the one I'm working on is a comic page. And then if I get the OK from the person, then I'll post those. But yeah, thank you, everybody, for coming. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Um, you guys take care and I will I'll probably post coffee soon. Um, once I come up with her with an actual name for her, I'll just post her. And then when people ask who the hell is she, I'll probably just put a description. But yeah, you guys take care. Um, have um, have a good day. Be safe when you're going to work and all that. And um, yeah, have a good night, a day, wherever your time is. You guys take care, all right? Bye-bye.